Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're back again with the first video for the Jumbo Heavy Scheme. The first combination plays we're going to be going over is the halfback dive and the halfback stretch. Uh, to run this stretch, what you really want to do is if they're shifting their line or their line's not auto sh uh, shifting when you motion the tight end, uh, that's the main thing you want to do is get that extra blocker over on the side that you want to run the ball and you see it's very effective. Now if it's a spread line like this, you know you want to audible to the dive and hit up the middle. Now there's going to be other setups to the dive to make it look like other plays, but this is a great combination of just getting a quick hike uh, on a dive and getting great yards if they had their line spread or not enough guys in the box. But like I said before, if you're running the stretch, if you want to run it to the left, you know, you motion the right side tight end over. And we're going to use other plays to go along with that motion so that your opponent just can't run commit every time he sees that motion coming. But you see that uh, a great combination of the dive and the stretch are a great way to move the ball, especially when we move the guy, uh, the tight end over. Uh, you see here, an example, if they pinch or shift their line, what we're going to do is take the uh, side that they shifted to, motion them over to the opposite side, and we're gonna hike them, well, you wanna hike them right about uh, when he hits the left side tight end. Right there, I waited a little bit too late. You don't wanna wait that long. You wanna uh, do it right as he's passing the tackle so he can actually shoot the gap and, and get a great block. So let's do it on this play. We're gonna motion the uh, tight end over. You see nobody auto shifts. So we motion him over, see he gets a great block seal. Uh, in the inside and the cornerback uh, gets sealed from the receiver and you see that we're able to break a big gain on the stretch you see here here's that auto shift if they do that a lot you really don't want to run the stretch of what might not be that effective but you see uh, again certain defenses it can be but if you notice that they're auto shifting every time you move the tight end and motion him over you um, you kind of want to get away from it if they're stopping you uh, and go to the dive or the other plays that we're going to be uh, going over but down to the run game, these are your money plays, a combination that halfback dive is your audible, so you would have to come out in the stretch. Um, but you see these are very two effective ways to run the ball, especially when you mix in the other plays with the motion so they can't run commit. It makes it even that more effective because of the reason that, that they don't know if it's a run or a pass because the pass play with this combination is uh, unstoppable. And when we have that extra guy on the left or the right getting motion, it's just an extra blocker, makes the run game that much better going to the left or the right. Now, if they're sending a blitz to the left and they're shifting their D-line to the right, say, you still want to run the ball to the side that the blitz is coming from because you kind of want to get away from the defensive line. Because if they shift their line right, you still try and run it right, they can get an easy block shed and, um, and get a tackle in the backfield. That's not what you want. On goal line, what I like to do is see how uh, I let him set all the way. Um, on goal line, I actually don't like to hike the ball as soon as he passes the tight end or right behind the tight end. Um, it doesn't work that well on goal line, so I, f I found if you want to run the stretch, wait for him to set, and it's a little bit better. You see there, we made a little bit of a cutback. Um, so you want to make sure you read the holes on where it's going to be at. Um, very effective mixing in the motion, the stretch, and the halfback dive. So I'll show you some more setups for the halfback dive and other setups to that uh, motion uh, in later videos. So I hope you all enjoyed that introduction video on the run base of the Jumbo Heavy. The rest of the scheme is coming, so be sure to be looking for that. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you guys would like weekly updates to the best tips and content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.